Hey, welcome to the first episode of a graphic tutorial. This is also the first recording with voice recording. Um, we're going to get started by creating a new graph. Um, for this series, I'm thinking we're going to be graphing the city of some kind. Uh, we're probably going to add some people in there too. But um, for the first few episodes, we are going to we're going to uh, create some buildings. We're going to uh, get the general layout of how we're going to do this. So um, I'm going to call it this city. You can call us whatever you like. Um, we're going to be starting out with simple lines. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, I'm going to call it guidelines because as uh, eventually we're going to take out these lines lines up because well we don't want to see uh the uh, scratch marks on our graph well this is going to be in 3d as well graphed on a 2d plane i'm going to so first thing i'm going to draw is the horizon line so i'm going to so i'm going to put mines at at about Let's put it at y equals 4. Okay, and then uh, I'm also going to set the vanishing point to um, to this point right here. It's 0, 4. And now I'm going to draw two lines that I meet up at that point. Uh, so let's start with y equals x plus 4. And uh, we can also tweak the slope, slope of this line right here. I want to go with yeah, I'm going to go with 1.5. You can choose whichever one you want. And uh, let's set these settings. So I want Y to be below 4. We can also change the color. I want to, I want to make, yeah, I want to make my guidelines blue. I want to make this point red right here, just, uh, just for this purpose. And uh, and if you want to, we can also change these to dotted lines, just to remind us that these are guidelines, not. We're not actually going to be using these these lines unless we uh, make this middle part a road, which we could, we could, and then and we'll we we'll just we we'll just make this a solid line again. But for our purposes, just make it dotted. Okay, next, uh, we're going to be adding adding a few buildings in um, ink for this tutorial. We're just going to just add one, and then. Uh, um, we'll finish off the rest next time. So for our first building, I was gonna make a make a simple go a rectangular box. So I'll place one right here. So this is this is a negative four, negative two. So I want to say y equals. No, it's gonna be x equals negative four. And then uh, and I'll put I'll draw a next line at this one right here, which is it looks like negative two and two thirds. Okay. 
I'm going to place another one at negative 6. Let's make this a nice tall building. So I'm going to go up to, so I'm going to go up to uh, positive six. I want to make the range from negative two. Positive six. Copy that and put that here. And as for this line, so since this is two units above, it's going to go from zero to eight. And uh, just to finish this off by a little bit. Oh, you know what? We did make a mistake because since we have a vanishing point right here, we need to make use of it. So to do that, we draw a line from this point right here, negative four, six, to this point right here, which is zero comma four. Um, and uh, and that line, okay, well, yeah, it's going to be temporary. So let's make this y equals x plus 4. I'm going to add 6 to that. It's going to have a negative slope. And uh, let's go to try a few numbers here, point two five. It's too much. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna have this line touching right here. So it's gonna be negative two and two thirds. From negative four. Go from that to negative two thirds, and this line is going to stop at five and one third. Okay, and we'll Keep that in here to keep it all nice and organized. And uh, and we'll finish. Well, um, well, I will conclude this recording at uh, at this point. We will uh, we will complete this building tomorrow. So, oh, not tomorrow, next week. So we're gonna draw a line from this point to this point. And uh, we might actually make this one wider. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I'll see you all next week.